Hello everyone, this is Athena, part of AMG Creates, and this is my first stamp on here. Not my first stamp, goodness gracious. This is my first card that I'm making on here. Um, I obviously have made other cards before. If you've seen any of my planner videos, uh, I use mostly lawn fawn stamps. There were a couple of ones of shops that have closed that I've used, but it's been a while. Um, in this one, I am using Wild Wolves and Nighttime Sky Stencil. So what you're seeing right now is me test out the stencil because I really wasn't sure what color that I wanted to do. And I'm taping it down because um, they have a tendency to wiggle all over the place at the worst times. It doesn't matter because it's a test sheet of paper. Um, I'm trying yellow first and some orange and I uh, really didn't like it because I'm using wolves instead of mice. <laughs> it kind of turned into the moon is made of cheese. And yeah, wasn't something that I enjoyed. But if I do use the mice for this, um, Lawn Fawn is particularly good at making creatures. So hopefully uh, if I use the mice, then I will be using yellow instead of the grayish blue with some teal that I had actually used for the card. I'm also making sure that the uh, those things are covered up like the little moon dots. Yeah you'll see whenever I go over it with the moon dots that it looks like cheese. <laughs> um, so what I'm doing the stencil is basically for the simplest not really the simplest but not even the most basic because it sounds bad but if you don't have dyes and you just have these two things and that's it then you'll be able to do this with cards see looks like cheese looks like cheddar cheese <laughs> um and then please make sure whenever you're doing this while you don't have to clean off your stamps at least i don't sometimes uh, the reason why I am is because I didn't want the yellow to mingle with the gray and the blues that I was doing. And I'm using just a simple baby wipe. I'm sure that there are other things that you can use. However, um, while we do have a nine-year-old, I, I have been using baby wipes since she popped out, and they are the best thing ever, and I'm not quitting. So I'm using... Um, Tim Holtz or Ranger Ink Distress Oxide dyes, and oh my god, they're the best thing ever. I love them because you can blend them, and it looks a little weird at the beginning, but then they kind of settle down. So whenever I do this, it leaves like little streak mark or circular marks because I'm going in a circular fashion, and then afterwards, they they sort of mold together. You can also dribble some water on it and then blot it off with a paper towel and it leaves those little dribble marks, which is really cool, to me at least. Um, so yeah, just using the test paper to see what I like, what I think will work good. And I've seen a lot of people who have tried this first before um, they actually do the whole card making thing, just to see what they like. Because card making... Um, unless you're doing a whole bunch of them, is mostly for play. You're just playing around. But yeah, I like how that looks. And then I'm just centering up the dots. And you'll be able to see whenever I'm all done what it looks like. Ta-da! I thought about using the littler ones too, but the littler ones didn't make sense. I have them on a card that I did off camera, and it looks okay, mostly because I have the wolves um, really close to the moon. So that is the card base. It is from Michaels. It is a white card base. Um, what I'm doing is I'm going to mask this. Masking basically means that you are making sure that the stamp that you stamp will not get colored with stuff that you are coloring with. <laughs> so it's, um, I want to color it in colored pencil. I don't want the moon to mess it up, but I can't put the moon 
first because then I would have to color over it with colored pencil. You'll see what I mean. Um, it is called masking. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so this is the easiest way to do it, I guess. What I'm doing is a thing called fussy cutting because if you do it a whole lot, then you're going to fuss about it. Um, it's basically just cutting as close as you can to the line so that you can use it over your stamped image. You'll see what I mean whenever we get further in. So while I'm doing this, um, the idea so far is to make different stamps based off of the planner, um, the thing that I used for the week. So I have three cards, three different cards that I want to use, um, possibly using the same stamp set and increasing the difficulty each time. So this one is the simplest one that I can think of. Really, I can think of, of simpler ones, but this is this is the, the easiest one that I can think of, and then it will just get more difficult from there. So the next one will have die cuts and everything in it. Um, I have one that's for different... There are different stamps in there. Not different stamps. Um different die cuts because of course this one doesn't have them but my planner didn't have it either so right now I'm just positioning the the stamp and everything what I should have done was stamp the wolf first and I didn't think about it and it is what it is but yeah you're supposed to stamp the the wolf first and then do this oops makes it a little bit harder to stamp the wolf in there. But I do like this. As you can see, it is really simple to do. I usually do two or three colors on there just to give it some dimension. Um, and then as you can see, there are a little bit of speckles. And while I have a big desk, I don't work big. <laughs> I, I normally keep all my stuff right next to it at the most inconvenient place. I do really like how this room turned out. Um, I will be using the stencil more. That's the problem. That is why you need to mask off some of your stuff. Because that happens. You can see where it's blue right there. There's a little bit on the other side. There's a little bit at the bottom. Um, it happens. I left it in there and didn't remake it because it happens. So this is where I scientifically got it wrong. Um, the uh, the sun or the moon reflects the sun's light. So therefore, whenever you do this, you should probably make like a white or a yellow kind of light around it. And I just went right for black. So. Yeah, does it really matter? No. Do I think that it looks good? I, I think that it looks okay. I don't really do simple cards. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that. That is what happens. And then I do yellow. Um, like I said, this is kind of a, a simple card. So what I'm doing right there before I, um, before I actually put it on the paper, is I am making sure that some of the yellow isn't all going to be splattered right there. Uh, the Distress Oxide things have a a need to be really juicy. <laughs> some of them are, are very juicy. That sounds horrible. But yeah. So I've got that, and then of course I try to radiate it, and I'm, st I'm okay with blending. I'm better with blending pencil than I am with these. Especially whenever you're going from yellow to black. It should have been the other way around. Eh, it is what it is. So I took this off and voila, you have a clean spot. Now the dog should have already gone there, but oops. 
so now I have to try to line it up. And I think I did all right with it. So obviously there are some places that I didn't cut that are still white. So I'll be using a marker, or a marker, wow, well, I'll be using colored pencil and trying to go over it as best as I can. <laughs> and of course, it's one of the things where if you're going to nitpick something, of course you're going to still see that one mark that's right there by where the moon is. You're going to see the fact that it's not exactly colored in all the way perfectly. It, you know... I think that it looks good in the end. Would I give it to somebody? Also, yes. <laughs> so the first week of stamps did not have this particular dog in there, didn't have this wolf in there. Um, but I will link up the first week of the plan with me so that you can see kind of what I'm doing. <laughs> um, I had lost my dog the week before this. Um, the week before the new year, he passed away. He was 10 years old, so not a big deal. It is a big deal, but it's not a big deal. <clears throat> you know what I mean? So, yeah. Um, it was basically just a really quick thing for him. And every so often, I will have a beagle-type thing, a beagle-type stamp in with the planner. Yeah, I do really enjoy this card. I made a couple of other ones, too, that had the couple of wolves in there and everything like that, and it turned out really well. Mostly with the moon as the focal point, I guess. I may have made his mouth a little too red. <coughs> he might look like he has lipstick. <laughs> and then I'm going to put in... Um... <coughs> A really quick sentiment that they have that says, I miss you a howl lot. So it's just a play on words. I love Lawn Fawn for their play on words. So instead of a whole lot, it's a howl lot because the dog's howling. Ha ha ha. Okay. Do that. And then the stamp will be all done. Um, so yeah, if you could give this a like and subscribe if you want to see more cards. I am hopefully going to have these posted Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So I think the Saturday one might be a little bit longer depending on what I make. Um, this is my first voiceover, so we'll see how it goes. I know that I coughed in your ear a little bit. I'm sorry. Um, with Texas weather, it's all over the place right now. So it is 62 at the moment, and... Yeah, it was 40 last week. My my whole body hates me. But that is the card. I hope that you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you again next week. <laughs>